Now we have come to LZW, also encoding is decoding. I find this algorithm pretty tricky, especially decoding part, but we will discuss it in details. Okay, now once again, as always, uh, a general outline of the algorithm. So we put all symbols from our source alphabet into the table, starting from index 0. On each step we check if the preceding following symbols sequence is in the table, so, or sometimes one symbol. If yes, we encode it with its index and form a new entry by concatenating it with the next symbol. Um, if not, we move forward. Uh, conti and we continue until the whole sequence is covered. Produced sequence of numbers can be later encoded in binary. I will show you an example and it will become clear. We are going to encode this abracadabra rabba rabba ra. And uh, I've made the first step here. I've filled our table with all symbols we have uh, in our sequence. I'm sorry, here shall be R. And uh, I'll do a couple steps now. We start from the very beginning, from here. We're encoding A now. So output will be 0, because we have faced A and concatenation with B. We haven't encoded B, but we formulated the new entry. B is not encoded yet. We're on B now. So 6 will be 1, right? B R. R is not encoded. We are on R now. We are on R, thus the output will be 4 R A. We have encoded R now. We are on A. 0 A C I think. Eighth index will be formulated once again as 2 And something interesting is coming here. We're currently here. Uh, and uh, AB has already been encoded. Thus we use index of AB and concatenate the next symbol, R. I highly recommend you to continue encoding this sequence. I will give the final result now. Ooh, we are done. You can check me if you want and uh, of course I once again highly recommend you to walk through it on your own and compare with my result. Now we will come to the decoding part. We are going to decode LZ LZW generated code and, uh, as always, outline of the formal algorithm. So we will place all symbols from the source alphabet and the table, starting from zero. And uh, if, they are, if the code stream is encoded with binary, we will decode all the numbers in binary to make them integers. Yeah. On each step we will generate new entry into the table, corresponding to the index, which depends on input and the second part generated from previous entry first symbol. I will show the example. Of course, during decoding we always know the source alphabet. And this is the sequence is given as an input. Okay, index entry. We have placed all symbols of the source alphabet into the table, starting from index 0. 
Now we are decoding our code stream. First digit here will be 2, right? What's at the entry 2? It's H, so output is H. New entry will be generated from H and something we acquire here. Some, the first symbol from something we acquire here. Okay, let's give it a place. Next is 0, thus the output is A. It's uh, this output consists only from one symbol, so it can be uh, thought of as a first symbol, right? It's HA, the final entry for fourth index. What's next? It's 4. Okay, 4 is ready, so the output is HA, and uh, I'm sorry, it was here A, entry and something. Yeah, <coughs> new entry is generated once again with the help of first symbol from the next output it's a h right and ha uh, something what's next at 6 now it's a tricky tricky place see uh, to decode 6 actually up to the end we need to refer to 6 2 we know that the Entry is not ready yet, but we know that it starts with HA and something, right? We know that the first symbol is used to be added at the end. Thus it's HAH, output is HAH, and new entry is HAH, something. What's next? Next is 5. Output is a h and uh, new entries a h something. And then eight. Once again, eight is referring to itself. What entries a h something? Thus a h a and uh, output is a h. A and new entries A, H, A, uh, something. But we will not actually even uh, generate this new entry because our code stream is over. Thus, our algorithm uh, made it possible to decode what's hidden. And what's actually hidden is what is referred to two. Uh, I think it's H, right? 